One of my favorite places to chase muskies is northern Wisconsin. Uh, this is an area I grew up fishing, have so much history, so many great memories with, and, and I've got my good friend John Mish, and John and I fish together every fall, and we are in late fall. John, this is a much later fall than normal, colder water temperatures, colder air temperatures, true fall fishing. Uh, what do you think about these kind of conditions? What's happening out here? Well, we're definitely battling the elements. I mean, the water temperatures are the lowest they've been for the season. Um, we got the coldest air temperatures. Um, these fish got to put on the feed bag, so we're going to have some action, I think, from suckers, and, and we're going to throw a variety of baits. But uh, you know, I think the weather is perfect for maybe a good bite and maybe some good fish. The Musky Hunter, brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, Ontario, Canada, Shimano, Power Pro, Mercury Outboards, Ranger Boats, Joe Booker Outdoors, Musky Mayhem Tackle, Motor Guide, and Musky Innovations. Out here, you need a ride you can depend on and strength you can rely on. You need a boat that tackles the elements and handles the tackle. You need the quality and peace of mind only one brand delivers, the all-new Ranger FS Pro. It's raising the bar with more brains, more brawn, and more bragging rights. The Ranger FS Pro Series, technology that makes waves, strength that crushes them. I use the flip daily. I'm fishing all the time in all types of conditions from snow to rain to super dry and hot days. Having a product that can not only work as a cooler for me but also as a dry bag is super important. It's kind of like a puzzle in my boat. I can plug in one size like the 12 and then the 18 goes here. It keeps my boat big and it makes my day on the river that much more enjoyable. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. The V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. See ya. On the fall days, particularly as you get later and later in the fall and you get into late October, you get in November and the air temperatures are colder, you know, it's a lot harder to last a full long day. So one of the most important things you want to do is, you know, I'm going to look at the Muskie Hunter TV app or I'm going to look at any kind of moon chart. I'm going to figure out when's the moon going to rise or set or be overhead or underneath and, and make my day around that. And so you know you're going to get an evening bite. And so if you're going to get some moon thing going on in the afternoon, make sure you're on the water from that afternoon into dark. If you want to get on the water at 8 a.m. and you're frozen, you can't make it to sunset or you can't make it to that afternoon moon event, you're really selling yourself short. So you really want to figure out when's there going to be some moon activity and kind of focus your whole day around that and more than likely that'll put the odds in your favor. Now we're going to rig some suckers up here. What we're using here is uh, one of many of the different types of rigs around the market. This one employs clips that go in the nostrils. Other ones uh, use rubber bands, other ones use hooks. Um, this is the ones we're using today. And then we got two trebles on the side. One of the trebles is bent down. And what we're doing is we're just, we're just taking care of a little bit of a little bit of the scales, and then what we're doing is, is we're just, just pinching the skin. You don't want to impale, you just want to pinch the skin 
and out. The idea is to be able to keep this fish fresh, keep it swimming around, keep it active, because that's what's going to get the attention of the muskie. So we did it on one side, we're going to do it on the other side here. Now, you know, some people ask, well, where on the side do you put it? You know, I tend to go a little bit on the low end. You know, these fish, these muskies tend to grab these suckers from below, and uh, they get a good mouthful of good mouthful of hooks at that point. And then we're just going to drop her in, and we got a few more to set up. Fish. Fish, all right. Yeah. Yep. Coming. Coming. I'm gonna stay over here, Jimmy. Just all right. Stay up front here. Where are you going? Which side? No, no, no. Over here. This now. side? Yeah, we're over here. Can't see him. No. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Don't go in that sucker. Oh, oh yeah, nice fish. Oh yeah. Got him. I got him! All yeah! Right. All right! Oh, yes! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Real quiet, real quality. Look at that. Nice. Awesome, awesome fish. Really gotta love that. Look at that. Beautiful. That nice, is a nice great daddy, one. huh? Look at me for a quick photo. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Love that. Nice fish. Yes. This cold water. I'm saying 46, 47. I think so. 46. Good fish. Nice fish. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Awesome. Let's get five or six more. I'm in. As you get later in the fall like this, one of the things that happens sometimes, although you were telling me it happened all fall, where suckers are pretty hard to get a hold of. Yeah, this entire month of October has been tough, tough uh, up here in the north. Uh, lots of people dri driving lots of miles to get suckers. Uh, fortunately, I was able to, to get some suckers and procure them earlier in the month. But as the month went on, to be able to have some more for what we're doing today, you know, I got to I gotta give a, a shout out to the uh, JRMS crew for uh, hooking me up. Fish. Fish, yeah. Nice. Off. Off? Off. No, no, he's, no, he's still on. <laughs> nice, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. He fooled you. He fooled me. He well, ran, he ran, he, he charged the boat. Now he's off. Oh. All right. That's a quick release. He was under his chin. Under his chin. Under his chin. These are the new Skix musky rods from Shimano. The most technologically advanced musky rods ever created. They use Shimano's High Power X and Spiral X technology to produce some incredible features with these rods. The High Power X technology creates a super strong, thin diameter, lightweight musky blank that can handle any musky lure on the market. The Spiral X technology, combined with the High Power X technology, focuses the energy of every cast in the direction of that cast, and that results in longer casts with less effort. And as a musky hunter, we always want that advantage for the long days on the water. These rods are available in seven different models that are precision matched with Shimano reels. And several of the longer models offer unique saltwater tested two-piece construction where you can take the rod apart and easily store it in your boat or in your truck. If you're looking to take your musky catches to the next level, Skix musky rods from Shimano are way to go. If you fish for skis, you need these. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. 
We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. Out here, you need a ride you can depend on and strength you can rely on. You need a boat that tackles the elements and handles the tackle. You need the quality and peace of mind only one brand delivers, the all-new Ranger FS Pro. It's raising the bar with more brains, more broad, and more bragging rights. The Ranger FS Pro Series, technology that makes waves, strength that crushes them. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. The V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. As muskie anglers, we all plan, prepare, and are consumed in the pursuit of a trophy muskie. Skix is available with two-piece saltwater tested tough technology for easy storage in your boat or truck and are designed to handle any muskie lure. You can be assured you're backed by precision Shimano technology. If you fish for skis, you need these. Introducing the all-new Tour Series, the only true cable steer trolling motor with GPS anchor. With the impact breakaway and rugged metal outer column you need, the zero flex metal foot pedal you want, and traditional cables that provide smooth, responsive steering. All built with the industry's most powerful lift assist system. Truly universal high definition integrated sonar imaging and the industry's most accurate pinpoint GPS anchor. Now that's tournament grade. That's Motor Guide Tour. Where's the dream destination of all muskie anglers? Ontario. And for good reason. It's loaded with giant muskies. Ontario has hundreds of waters with thousands of spots loaded with trophy muskies waiting for you. Don't fight the crowds. Explore the waters of Ontario. Fish alone and get back in touch with nature. Ontario. It's the place where muskie dreams come true. To find out more about my favorite Ontario muskie waters, check out GoFishInOntario.com. Aiden Johnson from White Bear Lake, Minnesota, caught and released this 45 and a half inch muskie on White Bear Lake. One of the things you want to put in the equation as far as where you're going to fish on any given day in the fall, particularly when you're fishing live bait, is to really consider the wind. And right now we've got a northwest wind blowing here. So number one, you want to fish into the wind because your boat control is much more precise. You can go slower going into the wind. And secondly, to be able to do that and really kind of perform effectively in the water when you're fishing an area, you want to fish an area that's calmer or is kind of you know, manageable, if you will. If you don't want to fish in a spot that's too windy where your boat control is not going to be that great. So what I'll do a lot of times is I'll pick a spot, start out in a spot particularly where you don't have a giant wind, you got some wind, but you got precision boat control. Because when you're fishing live bait, it's all about keeping the boat in the right spot. There is just so much bait sitting here in these coves. It's just crazy. Look at all this. Fish? Yep. Coming. It's boiling out there. Yeah. That's perch. He's in there. That's what we're taking. 
in the net with the sucker, the whole deal. All good. There we go. Nice job, John. Oh yeah. Nice little guy. Okay, on the glider. No. He might be the only thing colder than you and I right now. Everybody has a favorite bait to use in the fall. Um, you know, mine is, is a glide bait. I enjoy throwing a glide bait. And, uh, you know, whether you're, the fall is in 50 degree water temperatures or, you know, as we have today, 43 degrees or even colder, um, everything comes down to the cadence. You know, if you have water, warmer water temperatures, you're able to do a little more with it. But when you get cold like this, you know, it, it comes down to your pauses. You know, you got fish that are not moving great distances to chase these baits down. So you're kind of giving that, you know, you're, you're working the bait, you're making the bait do what it has to do. But it's important to have a pause. Um, they're tough to do figure eights on uh, glide baits, so sometimes it's just as simple as doing a, just a little walk, you know, kind of walk the dog in place, a little side to side, you know, for that slow follower that uh, chased you up to the side of the boat. This is the new Muskie Hunter TV app. And this free tool is gonna help you catch more muskies. Biometrics are all the factors, weather factors, other environmental factors that make muskies active, neutral, or negative. And on the Muskie Hunter TV app, we have revamped this activity gauge, which puts in approximately 20 factors and predicts over 300,000 different scenarios when muskies are gonna be active, neutral or negative. So you can look on the app and you can determine are the fish going to be active now or maybe later in the day or look a week ahead and figure out when those fish might bite. It's going to help you predict what lures to use and what techniques to apply in any given situation. Also, as muskie hunters, we all care about the weather. So the app looks at not only radar and existing fronts, it also has information on here where you can see how's the wind gonna change throughout the day? How's the barometric pressure gonna change throughout the day? How the humidity is gonna change throughout the day? All those things we take into account that's gonna daily impact what we wanna do as musky hunters, the app has that information there as well. And of course, we all follow the moon and you've got all the moonrise, moonset, moon overhead, and moon underfoot information as well. This app is also full of information on what type of spots to fish, no matter what lake you're fishing, what type of lures to use in a given situation, whether it be spring, summer, or fall. And of course, it has lots of articles as well. And one of the great things about the Muskie Hunter television app is you can watch the television show directly on your phone, or you can get it on another device or even get it on your television. Download it today. I use the flip daily. I'm fishing all the time in all types of conditions from snow to rain to super dry and hot days. Having a product that can not only work as a cooler for me but also as a dry bag is super important. It's kind of like a puzzle in my boat. I can plug in one size like the 12 and then the 18 goes here. It keeps my boat big and it makes my day on the river that much more enjoyable. After 40 years on the water, Tracker Off-Road brings quality and value to the land. This is the Tracker 800SX. It's not afraid of hard work. It's not afraid of the roughest ground. It's not afraid of a heavy load. And it's not afraid of being very, very quiet. A breakthrough American value starting at $11,399 plus freight. The Tracker 800SX does it all. Ontario, Canada, the breathtaking scenery, the incredible wildlife, the endless sunsets, and the muskies. Ontario, Canada is home to the greatest musky waters in the world, and giant muskies are awaiting your next cast. Explore the waters of Ontario and catch your personal best. To find out more about my favorite Ontario waters, check out GoFishInOntario.com. Out here, you need a ride you can depend on and strength you can rely on. 
You need a boat that tackles the elements and handles the tackle. You need the quality and peace of mind only one brand delivers, the all-new Ranger FS Pro. It's raising the bar with more brains, more broad, and more bragging rights. The Ranger FS Pro Series, technology that makes waves, strength that crushes them. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. The V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. It's time for the Yeti Tough Moment. In late fall, as freeze-up approaches, the musky feeding windows become shorter and the outside elements become more challenging. Planning your day around moon events, local weather conditions, and periods when the biometrics are high are keys to success. John and Jim picked a handful of spots and worked through them thoroughly. When the limited feeding windows opened, they maximized their opportunities and put together an incredible fall trip. Now that's Yeti Tough. You know, you're, you're, you're throwing hard baits, soft baits, really doesn't matter. Um, and you certainly want to try to catch fish while you're doing it. But, you know, sometimes it's as simple as using that bait as a decoy to eat your sucker. Um, you can see here we got our sucker rod. It's kind of pointing forward in our direction. And every time I bring my bait back and I'm working and I'm working near that sucker. Now, if that fish wants to eat my bait, <laughs> I'm happy with that. But if it doesn't, and wants to go down there and take a bite of Mr. Sucker, I'm okay with that as well. He's eyeing those suckers. Yep. Okay, hold on. Turn it around. Let me get the uh, other rod out of the way. Because you know that would be a problem. I mean, how much line you got out? 12 feet. Yeah, that's kind of close. Yeah. Going this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit him. Okay, go ahead. Whatever you feel like doing. <laughs> Got him! Yeah! Yeah! Oof. That was just so crazy. Yeah, I mean, he sits right underneath the boat. He doesn't move. Yeah. And, uh, um, yeah, you just try to get a good angle the best you can. But he was under the boat. You were kind of cuffed, and you got him to go. Yep. That was awesome, John. Right. Really nice, man. Really nice. Oh, nice clean fish. Good one, huh? Yeah. Nice, John. Love it. That was awesome. Just what the doctor ordered. You bet. Love it. That's good. Thanks, man. When fishing in the fall, even though the water temps are really cold and, and the fish are typically off the break line, I kind of think about some of the you know local weather trends that might happen that day or maybe two days in a row. And I'm going to experiment. If you hear from friends, hey, the fish are at a certain depth and that's where you start, that's great. But let those local weather conditions kind of dictate, hey, when it's sunny, there might be some a little shallower, let me move tight. If it stays cloudy and cold, let me stay off the edge. And just make a little adjustment. It might help you on any given day on the water. Is that a rod? Oh, that's fish. All right. Hey. I'm coming. But tell you what, it's amazing how on the fall, so often you'll get a bite right at dark. And uh, now we've got a situation where we actually have the moon setting 
and the sun setting. Thank you, John. Whoa, whoa. Turn this off. See which way he wants to go. Oh, yeah. Want to get him going away from me if I can. Just sitting there. Come towards me some way. I don't want him right under the boat. I need to get, get an angle where I'm a little bit away from me. All right, there we go. He's going that way. I like that. All right, I think I'm going to hit him. Okay. Got him. Yeah! <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> nice. Man, right at sunset, moon going down, sun going down, all the biometrics are telling you there's going to be a window and you got to be in a prime spot. Got a good one to buy. What a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Come on. Just oh, a photo. Yeah. I like it when they struggle. Oh, yeah. Good oh, fish. That one. Nice. Wow, look at that. Nice. Wow, just a giant Wisconsin muskie. What a really nice fish. Wow, all right. Live bait fishing, artificials, working brake lines, keying in on key times. It's all part of the deal to really catch them this time of year. Perfect. Wow. wow. <laughs> In the cold water, they really want to go. Thanks, John. That was awesome. If you want to have a great time in the fall, you want to focus on the some of those break lines, some of those areas where you get a channel edge or a steep breaking shoreline where deeper water is near it, and take your time, be patient. You know, fish artificials, fish live bait. Focus your day around key moon times, and you can catch them. Join us next week for another big fish adventure on the Muskie Hunter. Is that a rod? Fish. Fish, all right. I'm gonna hit him. Got him. You charged the boat. Yeah. Thanks, man. Awesome. Let's get five or six more. Sign me up. The Muskie Hunter has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. Well, thank you for playing. <laughs> Away you go. Oh, yeah, look Why at you. Me? Wrestle. Wrestle. WrestleMania. Oh, my God. SmackDown. Take him, John. Take him. <laughs> All of a sudden, we got a fish, and I want to stay out. 